Welcome back to Elden Ring, everyone. Here we are. <laughs> Don't ask me why I have fucking uh, glintstone phalanx up. Ignore that. Uh, welcome back to Elden Ring. I came back to the place we were at, which is the teleportation sort of slot before Rykard. Um, the question is, do I want to take on Rykard right now? The thing is, he's not an easy boss, as you guys probably know. So I'm just wondering whether it's worth for me to do this. I uh, can't even level up. Well, I can barely level up. Oh fuck, I totally forgot, you know. It's been a couple of days since I recorded and I totally forgot that I was in the round table hole to level up my weapons. It's all good, we can go back there right now. Uh, in fact, give me just one second and we will be right where we need to be. Hell yeah, this is more like it. This is more like it. We now have... Oh, come on, just... It's so satisfying, you know, when you can get, like, the mass upgrades. So now we have a plus 19 carry and glint blade staff and a plus 9 lazuli sword. So we only need the ancient... Dragon somber smithing stone or somber ancient dragon, whatever it's called. We only need that, and we only need the well, we need a lot more upgrade materials. I think this is the one that leads to Rikard, it's the audience pathway. Well, we can give him a try. The thing about this boss, you guys probably know, is that he is the quintessential the obligatory souls not gimmick boss but you know unique mechanic boss and I think he's one of the best ones in the series definitely I really couldn't think of an issue with this guy honestly I like this fight quite a lot main reason being that it's an actual fight FromSoft has a habit of making these types of battles just too easy and that's no fun, right? That's no fun. Plus, of course, the fact that you get to use the Nameless King's weapon, sick. Where are you, where are you, where are you, Serpent Hunter? I don't even know what category of weapon this is. God, I have so much shit, I always make like, such a promise to actually properly sort my inventory. There it is. And I never end up doing it. <laughs> yeah, no... No stat requirements. Nice too. Anyways, you can actually use your... Spells against him. I don't know how good that actually works. But what I do know is that there is the uh, the sort of uh, unique ability of the weapon. Actually, we can try it, right? I mean, listen, it's not the worst. But the thing is, well, he kills you very quickly. But what I was going to mention is that the weapon art of this weapon is very good because it always stuns him or sort of staggers him more like I think that's what you're meant to do really so yeah the only thing that's gonna be a bit of a nightmare in this fight is how much damage he does versus how little HP I have so this could be a little bit fucky I'm not gonna lie but again I am not like super Invested in doing this. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. That's a one shot. This is one attack I still don't know. I guess you gotta roll through it or something. And this is just phase one. Of course, and I know the tactic. I used the tactic on my first playthrough, which is 
you go and you level the serpent hunter up to like plus four or five and already it'll deal so much more damage that it's like very much worth it worth it i think what you're meant to do is use this again because it has a habit of stunning him on see this is what I'm talking about and I should be able to like essentially spam this because I have so much FP shit okay that didn't kill me which I'm very surprised about oh fuck I thought he ate me he does have a grab attack doesn't he Go for it, quickly! Come on! Ah, oh, it's so fucking slow. Shit. And he's fast. Well, as you can see, again, gimmick fight being a gimmick fight, this is not the most difficult thing in the world. But we definitely need some flask rearrangement here. We're not gonna need cerulean flasks, I think. Maybe one. See, this is what I'm talking about. He was gonna do his big fuck you attack, and I stunned him out of it. Oh! I couldn't stun him out of that one, though. Oh, he's so fast, and he does so much damage. Gotta be careful with the poison. I still don't know what the hell you're supposed to do against that. It didn't kill me. So that's an advantage. Come on, stun. Is it gonna hit? It is. Shit. Question is, am I gonna be able to... With how much HP I have and heals and how much he has... Am I actually gonna be able to survive phase 2? I don't know. Why did... Okay. Fuck it. That was... Yeah. That was my mistake. It's totally a one-shot. Right? He's gonna eat me. It's not. Huh. I still don't know if the mashing actually works in this game. Like... It's not a mechanic that's like ever... Explicitly confirmed or not... Oh, fuck. He's so cool. Look at that damage. Bruh. Insane. That's a little bit insane, the damage he does. Oh well. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. I mean... Oh fuck, it's somber smithing stones. Why did I think this took... I, I must be stoned. I really thought that it took regular smithing stones for some reason. Oh well, it doesn't matter, the early somber smithing, smithing stones are purchasable, so it's no big deal. I mean, that feels like it does more damage.
I'll take anything. But this guy, even a couple of hundred hit points counts. Which is quite weird to say, because... A couple of hundred hit points with any other boss... Would be a massive deal. But of course, this guy, I think he is officially the... The enemy with the highest HP in the whole series. I think he has to be, right? Okay, I'm getting backed up into the corner, which you don't want to happen. Yeah, the extra damage is actually super helpful. And for some reason, it like gave me some zen ability to be more attuned to his fucking moves because this was like insanely easy one of the best cutscenes in the entire game one of the funniest too coming up one of the most memeable let's do this uh, this cutscene is <laughs> it's quite a good one he looks really good again great design I mean, this is so gross. <laughs> Man, he's got... He's iced up this dude. God, I love it. And he does the, the gesture. I, this is so good. I like that. I love that they didn't do the stereotypical like snake voice where he goes like does the S shit. And that he actually sounds like pretty creepy and weird. Yeah, there we go. Rikard's Ranker. Someone please confirm that that is a sorcery, isn't it? I think it is. It's one of those weird sorceries though that needs intelligence, I think. Not intelligence, because all sorceries need intelligence, but need faith. Is what I was trying to say, or attempting to say. <laughs> nice. I didn't die on the second phase, I think, on my first playthrough. It's just you gotta do this shit all over again. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, we'll give it a couple of more shots. I don't wanna waste an entire episode on stupid Rai card. Okay, here we go. Um, I decided not to show the God Devouring Serpent part. I sometimes die to it and, you know, you, you kinda get the gist of this boss fight. He ain't, he ain't the most complicated boy in the world, that's for sure. Uh, Mr. Rykard, on the other hand, oh, well, he's something else. He kind of goes ham. Oh, fucking seriously? Don't tell me that was not the most cheating shit you've ever seen. The fact that the big... Why did I go sideways? Yeah, I'm getting chased by the stupid skull. Oh, come on. Yeah, he uses his big dumb sword, which is actually one of the best weapons in the entire game. Uh, and it's still coming after me. And I did the wrong move, yeah. That voice line, though. He's rough. He's rough. Just the amount of damage he deals, which is, I, 
I keep saying how much every damage I, like is dealt by enemies and bosses in this game, but I don't know why I keep repeating it. Like everybody knows. Okay, so I've now made the mistake twice of going for a charge attack and not getting actually close to him. Uh, I'm gonna not do that. See, because now it actually hit. Which is very convenient. I don't think you can stun him out of that, right? I think that's his like, big showcase attack. They don't want you to interrupt him which makes sense I mean did that seriously not hit oh fuck yeah I'm not sure if this is actually gonna happen like he's actually blasting me with all of his attacks and it's rough yeah this is a rough fight so I made it back to Lane Dell instead. Uh, well, specifically, I made a little bit of progress in Lane Dell. Uh, honestly, I went. So last night I was trying to fight Rykard, which is the first half of this episode, and then I went to. Oops. I was like, I'm gonna give up on this and go to Lane Dell. And honestly, I was having just a miserable time here. Uh, everything deals so much damage, and probably it was. I was pretty tired. Uh, last night, so that might have affected my mood and performance. So it wasn't just, it wasn't a good episode. Uh, I decided to scrap it and just re record. So the only thing you missed is I ran up Grand Sax and made it up to this side of Grace. That's about it. So you didn't miss much in Lane Dell. Uh, so we're gonna continue from here because, again, that last episode was pretty goddamn miserable. Uh, it happens, you know. It happens in every single Souls game, uh, even to the best people, where you just, like, are not feeling it. Speaking of not feeling it, this fucker, um, he can be pretty difficult. So I'm gonna try spamming him to death as much as I can. And, no, he aggros. What we need to do is just keep pew-pewing. I don't know if this is a respawning enemy. I genuinely don't. Ouch. See, this is what I'm talking about with the with the damage that enemies deal in this area. It's pretty nutty. I'm gonna try like again. I've died to this thing a lot previously so I'm gonna try not doing that come on heal 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 and the oh fuck I don't know why this is I f this is why I was having a miserable time last night uh, this is exactly it because uh, this thing will just randomly do a wipeout combo and everything is one shotting me I don't know, bro. I'm still like really torn on Elden Ring going in this direction uh, as a FromSoft game in terms of this direction being the everything deals a metric fuck ton of damage and more. Cause man, you know, if I was playing a level one playthrough in Dark Souls 1 and this kept happening I was like fair enough like I chose this but this is just normal gameplay like I'm just playing the game at least it friendly fires yeah I'll take that if I can get him on a loop where he just keeps doing that instead of getting close to me, I will be a very happy camper. This is the first time his AI decided to do this. 
I'm very happy about that. 3,000. <laughs> oh man, that's 3k. Very impressive. Very, very impressive. But the golden seed, that's better. Just gonna check quickly. Three. Okay, we need one more. Yeah, I specifically remember this guy here. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. At least we'll get to find out whether um, the gargoyle respawns. I don't think it does. I mean, it dropped the halberd, which to me signals that that was a one and done enemy. And it is. And I know, I know, people always say you need to pump HP in this game, you need to do that. But it's like, how insane is this shit? Cool. I mean, especially with me being a sorceress. A sorcerer, where it's like not the type of build that I'm going for. I mean... Should I go to the bottom? That's where the real round table hold is. Yeah, we can do that. I'm gonna have to like keep the timing of this episode in mind because I am recording the next day, but I already have the Rikard stuff. So, you know, I still not have this run extremely long. I still think there could be a boss here, right? This looks so much like a boss arena. Oh, this is... This is something I've been wanting. Um, this is Alberich's set. And he's the invader that invades you if you jump down in the round table hold. And this is a pretty sick set. I think this is gonna work very well with my, uh, like, shit. I think. I kind of have an idea where this might be. It, this is like in front of the capital, right? So Alberich is set. The thing that's sick about this is... It has the proper actual witch's hat. Hell yeah. In fact, I think we might just kind of rock the whole, the whole thing. Don't know if I need the braces. It's not even heavy. Oh, ho, ho. Now we're cooking. Now we are cooking. I know I like didn't fashion souls this too much, but this set is already so badass. It's like such a perfect mage set that I I don't even wanna I don't even wanna mess with it. Uh, this is. As good as it gets, boy. I mean, that cape is sick. <laughs> not what I meant to do. I thought I had my sword out. And not in a dirty way. Anyways, just gonna finish clearing out this place. And I'm uh, like almost... 100% sure that what's his name, Bok, can edit this set. This looks like a set that could be editable. So what I'm gonna do is let's head back to Bok, who is here. And let's see if we can do anything sick with this. Most of the sets that are editable, the thing that changes is you can take off the cape or put it back on. I knew it. I mean, that kind of works too, actually. I mean, yeah, it does. It looks sick with the cape too, though. Ah, decisions, decisions. And this actually, nah, it's too big. These masks make your head look gigantic. That's the that's the main issue. 
Oh, there, this I had a description. Set with red glintstone, said to be formed by blood of sacrifice. It strengthens thorn sorcery. Yeah. Uh, those are the ones that you can get in like Moog's area or shit like that. Cool. Well, I'm happy with that. I can always like, like readjust it. It's no problem. Mm, this one. Trying to make sense of which side of grace you should go to is a bit of a mess and this is not the correct one is this the correct one there we go I'm still torn on this cape thing I mean practically this makes more sense if you think about it like having a huge ass cape to drag around doesn't make much sense, but then again, fashion souls is fashion souls. I'll make a decision on that. Don't worry. Anyways, I don't even remember. There's nothing you can do up here, right? This just leads to the arena, which, well, doesn't do anything. I still think that's uh, like 90% gonna be DLC. Oh, it's one of these guys. Well, he's gonna get sniped. And he's gonna get double sniped. He's gonna get carry and sliced. Fuck. Am I dead? Listen. If that was a God of War QTE, I would have been able to, like, shoot him with my spell in the face. And that would have, like, blinded him or something. This ain't God of War. Yeah, I don't think I went here on my first playthrough. That's where the thing is. That area you can get teleported to initially. Oh, fuck, there's another one. Well, you know the deal. And a snipe. We're gonna comet shard this fool as well. Apparently he's not the smartest because he's not avoiding my spells at all yeah sorry about that hey, you gotta play to your strengths ritual shield talisman let me guess increases your guard ability right raises defense when eight okay I was wrong there listen I made a valiant effort to guess, and I was wrong. I'm guessing that's a different thing. Uh, I'm sure it exists, because it exists in other uh, Souls games as well. The ring slash talisman that would make it so you'll take less stamina penalty when you block. It exists for sure. Cool, well, that was a journey. Uh, not worth it, I would say. However, we did get to see this area of Landell. The question is, how am I doing on time? I think we'll be okay. I don't want to make too short of an episode. I know not much happened in the second section, but we did get to the capital. So what I'm going to do, people, is I'm going to start slowly wrapping up this episode here. Oh yeah, that's where we can get to the upper portion of the round table. Might be worth doing. Right? Is it, Or do you have to wait for it to... No, 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 you don't. You can get there normally. So, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I wouldn't say this was the world's most productive episode, but I sure as hell had a better time today than last night. Last night was rough. But again, hey, it happens. It happens to the best of us. How 
the hell did you do that? So what I'm going to do is I'll wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Elden Ring. And yeah, upper part of round table hold. I don't even know what the hell you have here. But we'll check it out in the next episode. Take care, everyone. And yeah, peace out and goodbye.